Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here back with more Let's Play Shining Force 3. Alright, so we are still here in this fight, and I remember where the trigger point is. It's going to be right around here, dealing with these guys. So we got the Mega Loaders. Um, how much? 77. I'm not going to end up killing that one, but we can, we can kill this one with Eldar. I need to do just a little bit more damage to it, so I'm probably going to have Khan use the Elbasim Orb. We'll do that, and, um... Uh, no, we're not gonna have that one get killed by. We'll have that one get... mostly damaged by Hayward. And just kind of keep moving on from there. Alright, so, you get to stay there. You get to move there. And... Alright, so yeah, Elbasim Orb, this will damage it just enough. What? Equip. Okay. I was just making sure I was using the right thing. Alright, that should damage it enough so that Eldar can kill it next turn, and then we're just gonna have Eldar just kind of fly toward that, uh... that treasure chest. Hopefully not drawing the attention of the two spear-wielding birdmen, because I can see that happening, and that's probably not gonna be a good thing. But, yeah. Alright, so... And the rest of my force is just going to kind of move forward and deal with things. Everyone else is just going to kind of hang out there. Be a little derpy. It's a little derpy. It's a little derpy. I'm not going to lie. But we're fine. All right. So once the Mega Loaders get their turn is when I know everything resets. That does help knowing turn order because, yeah. I don't know what they're expecting to do to Noon. Well, I mean, Noon... Noon's level 1. Noon really needs to kill both of these two. And you're going to do damage to... Oh, you're going to go after Noon? What? Okay. Sure. Whatever. I, I mean... Why not? Okay. A lot of other tactical RPGs, they have a uh, little easier to, to manage turn order system. Uh, actually, I might... Well, no, I'll have... I'll have... Uh, Eldar kill one. I'll have Noon kill the other one because they're both level one and they both need to level up. So... But only 7 XP. Brilliant. Alright, let's... start heading back because we're going to need that. And let's do this, and you die. Little overkill, now bear my Arctic blast. but it's, it's, yeah. Megaloader's dead. Noon's gonna get some XP. Not a lot of XP, because again, kind of silly at this point. But I'll have Grace heal Noon. Oh, I can have Khan. What's, Grace is level two, so we're gonna have Khan heal. Because... Khan's level 1, because I'm not doing a good job of leveling my people up, because I'm not getting a lot of XP. So, alright. Now I should be able to trigger the event. I gotta move forward just one more space, though, which is... should do here. There we go. You have fallen right into our trap, Symbios Army. What? <laughs> Surrender now, Symbios. Hey, look, it's Edmund. Surrender now, Symbios. It's time for you to hang, hand over King Benetrim. D General Edmund. If only you'd been defeated by the Imperial Army, we wouldn't have had to meet like this. Hand over King Benetrim, Symbios. I've no quarrel with you, but I will kill you if I must. Yeah, how... What's... We... So now we know what Justin was freaking out about because Edmund was turning traitor, but he had sworn allegiance to Edmund. Yeah. Betray is such a harsh word. The general is only following his ideals. Now what is your answer, Simbas? Uh, how about bite me? <laughs> you, you want him? Come get him. That's, that's, my, that's my response. Although the Republic was founded on ideals of justice, ultimately we have not established true equality in Espinia. All we've done is establish a new empire. 
We intend to start over and bring a new order to Hispania. Um, yeah, good luck with that. By allying with the Empire. Our work in Hispania is only half done. Any change worth making takes time. Enough with your speeches, Benetrim. Our people suffer in poverty while we ourselves have become another empire. I trusted your words and waited, but where are the results? What has changed? Enough stalling, Symbios. Put down your weapons, surrender, and hand over Benetrim. Uh, no. There's a whole lot of... Screw you. Why don't you jump off the cliff? It seems you plan to be uncooperative to the very end. Uh, if you won't listen to reason, you leave me no choice. To arms, my men. Advance on the enemy. We've been flanked. Yeah, no, we haven't. Because, <laughs> uh... Wait, what's wrong? Men, cut off the Symbios Army's retreat. Alright, so just a handful of troops are going to show up. They have finally arrived. Now victory is secure. What's wrong, Edmund? Something's not right. My force is larger than that. Where are the rest? I believe I'm to blame for that. The rest of them are being kept busy by my army, Edmund. I really like medium. Just the, hey, this is... He's got, in scenario one, he's got kind of a tuxedo mask complex where he really only shows up and saves us, but... You'd sacrifice innocence for your new order? That hardly sounds like ideal to me. Time to wake up, Edmund. I have lost respect for you, Garzel. You conspire with Republic traitors and plotted to kill ben King Benetrim. Shut it, Gantrak. What does a peon like you know about anything? If this is an example of fine standards of Imperial Knights you prayed about, I want to learn nothing from them. Oh! And you, Campbell, once I crush the Symbios army, I'll have your bones set as the foundations of our ideal nation. That's a line! That's a little dark, but... You there, attack the Symbios force. The rest of you, go after the Median army. Leave Edmund's main force to me. Go after Garzola and those other traitors, Lord Sinpaios. Appreciate your help, Lord uh, Prince Median. They've lost their momentum, Sinpaios. Seize the opportunity. They never had the momentum. Because, you know what? Like I said, they never, they never had the momentum. They are all spear wielders, so they are going to put a world of hurt on us. But we've we've really blocked their entire uh, advancement. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kill them as they come down. Like, I'm... If I can kill them, I'm going to kill them. As opposed to just, you know, missing every hit. Thank you, Sybil. Thank you for that. But now we have Edmund. Uh, I actually should show off the new enemies before I kill all of them, shouldn't I? We have Aspia Soldiers. HP of 32, movement of 6, attack of 27, defense of 21, agility of 12, luck of 2, carrying halberds, not a threat. We do also have Edmund, which we will not actually see his battle sprite. Uh, HP of 78, movement of 6, attack of 26, defense of 20, agility of 18, luck of 8, carrying a rapier. Uh, he is a character that we can recruit in later scenarios. I'm not going to. We, we have the choice of either recruiting him or another general. Uh, the last playthrough, I went with the other general. I'm going to go with the other general this time, mostly because I hate Edmund. I hate his character personality. I hate his character design. Uh, he's obnoxious, and I, I'm i looking forward to seeing him die. All right, uh, let's deal... Can I... Let's do some damage. We'll do what damage we can to as many of them as possible, because I am taking couple of them out. Alright, let's take out that one with Justin Arbonite. Take this! Take this! Really? Didn't need to do that, but hey, 22 XP. They'll actually give a, a, a fair amount of XP. Alright. And... Even with that, you're only doing 4 points of damage. Alright, yeah. Attack her. You're not... I'm, you're not a threat to me. 
None of you are a threat. You're obnoxious, is what you are, and you're going to die. And you're we're going to, you know... Okay, I'm, I'm actually a little concerned for Irene's safety. Oh, no, now I'm not, because now there's no way they can kill me. Because even if that last one gets to move... So, we'll kill them. It's time to move Eldar. Go get, a, you know, a, a, a tasty, tasty item in that treasure chest. Alright. Um, I do need to draw in the attention of the birds, though. Um, I... Oh, you've been damaged, haven't you? Um, can I do 11 points of damage to you? Oh, yeah. You're dead. It was so nice knowing you. So nice. Alright, dead. Um, I could try to bring Noon back over here, but I'm not going to get close enough to anyone to do any damage. So let's just leave the two of them over here. You're level two already. We're going to... Uh, I don't need to inspect... I need to shoot someone. So we're going to shoot you. Oh, not quite half damage. That's... Entertaining that they're able... Oh! Okay, well, we've... Got their attention. Ouch. Okay, well... I was expecting to take some damage. I'm not going to die. Oh, you didn't line up! I was hoping to AoE you. Alright, I need to heal Maskerin for one. But there's... There's no way Maskerin's going to die, because I'm going to get... Khan will get a turn before anyone else. So... Heal Maskerin. Need to heal Irene. Or I need to kill enough of the bad guys over there that Irene can't be killed. I feel like... It feels like a while... I was about to say, it feels like a while since Symbios had a turn. Doesn't it? Hey, guess what? I don't like you being alive. Okay. Um, you guys are, you're kind of pissing me off, you guys, with the not dying thing. All right, you're dead. 16 XP. Dontarius is going to level up to three before anyone else gets a chance to do anything. Um, hey, look. I can do some damage. Tornado, it's only Tornado 1, but... I, I can take him out from here. Yeah, because wind magic plus flying creatures equal dead things. Alright, um... Let's... Yeah, let's do this. So, uh... Irene is completely blocked off. So, as long as Sybil hits... Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. She has no spear skill. So she's going to do very little damage. These are things that I have... Just remember... Alright. Yeah, we'll do some damage to you. Might kill you. No! No, okay, okay, so yeah, we didn't have the uh, attack bonus of being next to someone. If we had the attack bonus, he'd be dead. Alright, let's... Kill him. And dead. Perfect. Justin's not terribly useless at the moment. He will be replaced, though. It's, it's one of those things... It's like, I hate saying it, but you're gonna be replaced. Alright. I... Where are... Like what turn? What turn am I on? Like what? What's going on? I was just sitting here earlier talking about yeah, making sure you're you're keeping up with turn orders. I don't remember what turn I'm on. I don't remember who's going where because we're actually doing things now. All right. Um. 
28, you've got... I can, I can kill this one. Um, I will kill this one by moving here and casting Blaze. That way Noon can move forward and catch the other one. Because that's the upside. If they can attack me, I can attack them. Like we are... And hey, dropped an Angel Wing. And Masquerade levels up to two. That's good. Making progress. Alright. Just kind of hanging out over there. Hayward's already level two, so we're just going to move you over there. You don't really need to do much of anything. What is your next level? Oh, you just leveled up. Okay. So, um... You're going to level up. You're not. You're already level two. Who's what level? Eh, okay. Sybil. Sybil's going to level up. Eldar... Not gonna level up anytime soon. Khan's gonna level up. Noon. Justin. Alright, so we're just gonna move over here. I'm gonna heal myself. And just kinda go from there. I'll have. I'll have Sybil attack again. That way she'll level up. Won't kill him. Alright, let's see. Let's see how much damage Freeze does. Yes, now bear at my Arctic Blast. And not enough to level up. I wasn't expecting it, but hoping. Alright, so that other Wing Knight's gonna come in, and now you're gonna attack Noon. Spinny, spinny! Oh, you missed! You missed a mage! That has got to be embarrassing. <laughs> Alright, um, I was gonna heal with something, but I don't, don't need to. Do not need to. Alright, so, let's move Khan there. Don Terry is there. Alright, let's equip the Halberd. Probably won't kill him, but might, it should do enough damage so that Sybil will level up and I can have Justin come in and kill him and that'll be one less person to level two that I need to worry about. <sighs> Except not, because I know Justin won't get uh, enough XP for the kill, but it'll be closer. And I, I kind of want to... or not. Or wonderful. Okay. So, Sybil's gonna take another hit, so I'm gonna need to heal Sybil here in a minute. Four damage, okay. One thing I like about this game, uh, especially compared to other Shining Force games, is more weapons have more effects uh, outside of just raising attack. Like, the uh, the rapier raises uh, agility, uh, and then you've got, you know, specific weapons that ha raise specific stats. But I do, I like that. I really do. Uh, it's it's something that I wish more games had. Because not only can you take advantage of uh, a, a particular class type, but you could further uh, uh, take advantage of uh, customization by making them unique. And I really think that's, you know... Something that's kind of lacking from a lot of uh, strategy RPGs like this. Like, it's. It's entirely doable, but it's not common. But, like, have a mage that where you can throw on. Say they've got, you know, a, a, a wand that increases magic offense, one that increases magic defense, or one that increases, you know, physical defense. So you can have kind of a tanky mage go up, they're not going to be as strong as, you know, one focusing on, uh, you know, offensive magic, so they're not going to do as much damage, but they can absorb more damage, and then you can have, you know, uh, strategies like that, which I, I think, I think would play out really interestingly in a lot of games like this. What is your to next level? Alright, so we're just going to, we're just going to have Justin do that, and we're going to move 
Sybil there. We're going to move her over here. Because moving in a straight line is easier than uh, taking an L branch. So. Alright. And Ob right there. Justin, kill him. Because the only other flying enemy we've got is that one last air soldier, or air knight, that's just gonna... What will I drop for the medical herb? Uh, nothing. Um, yes. I didn't mean to press B to both of those. Alright. Uh, and it's actually about time to end this episode, which is good because now we're gonna start getting, uh, attacked. These guys are gonna start moving forward, um, because, you know... We, we've kind of hit the, the the threshold point, because now that we've sent Eldar over here to get this... Uh, what... Okay, I was about to say, what does Eldar have? Because I'm going to be very upset if Eldar has, uh... Can I... Is it just the treasure... Yeah, it's just the treasure chest. So let's inspect that. The White Ring. Alright, so yeah, I'll go ahead and end this episode here, and I'll see you guys in the next installment, where hopefully I will be able to finish this fight and take out... Uh, Garzel and the Traitor Edmund. So, till then, later everyone.